We go right now to our Sienna flashback, where we go back into Sienna College history and look at a moment of Sienna College basketball uh, glory. This year we go back to uh, this week we go back to 1980 in the winter of 1980 in the ECAC playoffs at the Arc. LIU comes in a game a team in which Sienna had defeated 82-64 earlier in the year, and the senior captain on that team, Mike Catino, hit a shot at the buzzer in overtime for an 80-78 win that earned Sienna a shot against um, Jeff Ruland and Iona in the um, semifinals down at St. John's. Mike now talks to us about the LIU team and that playoff. They uh, had quite an interesting group of, play of players. They had, had come up, um, I think, that same year, uh, earlier in the year, and we beat them pretty handily, but there was some punching and fighting and uh, really set the stage for the, um, the playoff game at the end of the year. Uh, they had a guy named Rudy Johnson and Riley Clarita, a uh, seven-footer named Ernest Bynum. Uh, so they were ready when they came back to the arc for the second time. Uh, if I remember, Fran, I had an opportunity to uh, end the game, <clears throat> excuse me, in regulation, and I missed. And then it went into overtime, uh, and a good friend, still a good friend of mine, Timmy Sice, uh, sent a, a pick, being the 6'9", 200 and whatever pounder he was then, uh, right up near the top of the key, and I was able to get the shot off, and uh, as the shot was in the air, I kind of backstepped a little bit, and when it went in, I don't know what came over me, I just ran out of the gym. <laughs> and I remember standing in the hallway and in the locker room all by myself, not having anybody to celebrate with. It seemed like I stood out there for an hour, uh, but five or ten minutes later, the rest of the team came, you know, flying through the tour. Probably uh, just searching for you all over the place. <laughs> I had heard them out there on the court celebrating, and I just kind of stood there staring at the wall for a minute. Um, and uh, that game put us in a position to uh, go down to St. John's, and we were in the semifinals against Iona. And really one game away from being uh, an NCAA-bound uh, team, <clears throat> we would have been... Um, it was 70, it was an 80. We would have went to, uh, not sure exactly what region, friend, I, I just can't remember the teams, but uh, we lost to Iona by three or four points down at St. John's. Yeah, tough game. I remember that, that was a team with Jeff Ruland. <clears throat> right. And a team you had lost to a closer game a couple weeks before that. That's correct. Down in their gym. And a game that were, you were actually tied in that ball game late against Iona. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always had trouble with them. My freshman year, when Jeff Dowdy and I came, uh, into the program, we beat them, and it was either three or four times uh, uh, I played against them. After that, we lost every time, <laughs> and they had Jeff Ruland every time. So that uh, I guess that was was part of the main reason why we couldn't beat him. He was a he was a big boy. That was Sienna College uh, former captain from the late seventies, early eighties, Mike Catino, talking about uh, the win over LIU in the playoffs, and then facing Jeff Ruland in Iona, and in the semifinals, Jeff Ruland who went on to play pro basketball for the Washington Bullets.